a long time no see. I... How have you been? My mother and husband came to my beloved father's funeral. How could you show up here after what you did? I tried to be sarcastic, but they didn't seem to be offended at all. Of course, it's my husband's funeral. It's only natural for me to attend, isn't it? I came to get my inheritance. I couldn't stop laughing at my mother's words. I'm sorry, but you won't be getting any inheritance, you know. My name is Taylor, and I am a 32-year-old office worker. My husband Theo and I have been married for two years. We were business partners working at different companies. We came to see each other a few times and soon got closer and started dating. Then he confessed to me and we decided to go out. But I was hesitant to go out with him in the beginning. That was because he was six years younger than me. Is it really okay for an old lady like me to be your girlfriend? When I asked him that, he replied, I don't care about your age. I love you, Taylor. As he looked me straight in the eye, I was so thrilled to hear him say that without hesitation that I became more attracted to him. We continued our relationship smoothly. He soon proposed to me and we decided to get married. We immediately made our way to greet each other's parents. My in-laws were very kind people and accepted me into their lives. They were cheerful and jovial, just like him, and I immediately liked them. Next, we went to my parents' house and I introduced him to my parents. Well, it looks like you've chosen a very young boy. But he is very polite and pleasant, isn't he? My parents liked him right away, and so did he. They are very kind and nice parents. He said this and was very nice to my parents. And so, we got married without any problems. After marriage, we both continued our jobs and shared the household chores as much as we could. Taylor, your cooking is really good. Really? I'm so glad. Did your mother teach you this? No, I learned on my own. My mother doesn't cook much. She was particular about salads and oil and stuff, though. Oh, I see. So she's a health-conscious person. Well, she used to be a model, after all. Really? Didn't I mention that? She was a teen model from the start of high school until about 19. That's when she got pregnant and married my dad and ended up not modeling for a while. And just about when I started elementary school, she modeled for another 10 years or so. I didn't know that. I thought she was very beautiful, but if she was a former model, that makes sense. Next time, you should tell my mom in person. I'm sure she will be very happy. I see. Well, let's go to your parents' house sometime soon, then. Yes, we should go on our next day off. My husband was very thoughtful of my parents. He often suggested that we visit my parents' house. I'm very grateful that I am able to see them regularly, thanks to him. My marriage with my husband was going very well. But then, something unfortunate happened to us. My father had an accident and ended up in a wheelchair. Taylor, can you come over again today? I have some help during the day, but at night it's just me, so I need some hands. Oh, okay. I'll come by after work. I was very worried about my father and leaving my mom to take care of him because, to be honest, she isn't very good at housework. I told my husband that I was going to visit my parents after work to take care of my father. And to my surprise, he offered to drive and go with me to my parents' house. Thank you, Theo. You're a big help. Don't worry about it. Your parents need help, so I should be there, shouldn't I? At this point, I thought my husband was like a savior sent from heaven. A Taylor, thanks for coming. And you too, Theo. I'm so sorry you had to come all the way out here. It's not a problem at all. Where's Dad? He's sleeping in his room right now, but I think he's gonna need to use the bathroom soon. Okay, I'll check on him. Thank you. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, I needed somebody to help me carry some things for me. Ever since my husband ended up in a wheelchair, there's no one left to carry the heavy things. I see. Of course, you can leave it to me. It seemed that Theo was willing to help my mother out. I was glad Theo came with me. Dad, I didn't know you were up. Thank you for coming, Taylor. I woke up when I heard your voice. I see. Did you need to use the bathroom? I can take you if you want to go. Oh, yes, please. I'm really sorry I ended up like this. 
What are you talking about? You managed to put me through college. Now's the time to return the favor, isn't it? Thank you, Taylor. When we finished taking care of my father, Theo and I headed back home. When we arrived home, my husband made a suggestion. Hey, why don't we move in with your parents? What? I mean, to be honest, it's not easy for just the two of them to live in the current situation. But are you okay with that? It's not like living with your own parents, so I'm sure you'll get tired of being attentive. No, I'll be okay. Your mom and dad are really sweet, so I'm totally fine with living with them. Theo... I really appreciated my husband's suggestion. To be honest, I was thinking the same thing as he was. My mother and father are 15 years apart. My father is the president of a company, and he met my mother at a rich people gathering. My father fell in love at first sight with my mother's beauty. That's when they started dating. They soon got married when she found out about her pregnancy. My mother was not good at housework, so my maternal grandmother used to come over to our house to clean and cook. Indeed, I remember seeing my grandmother cooking when I was a child. My mother had a unique sense of values that as long as she was beautiful, nothing else needed to be done. She really didn't do any housework. When I went to college, I started to live on my own. That's when I learned how to do housework myself. But my mother can't do anything, so she can't take care of my father by herself. So I wanted to be there for my father and support him if I could. And there's another reason why I want to live with them. What is it? I'm pregnant. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, I'm going to be a father. Yeah, that's right. Then we definitely should move in with your parents. I think so too. I'll call my mom right away. I called my mother right after that to tell her and she replied, That would be great! And agreed to us moving in. And so, my husband and I moved into my parents' house. I took this opportunity to become a full-time housewife. While taking care of my father at home, I was making preparations for the birth of my child. My mother would take me to the hospital if I needed anything. And even though she couldn't cook, she would buy whatever I asked her to buy at the supermarket. That alone was a big help to me. Above all, not having to be home alone was very reassuring. My husband seems to communicate well with my parents, too. He makes sure my father is feeling well and seems to enjoy talking with my mother, too. When I saw that, I was really happy that I married Theo. Theo, will you come shopping with me? I was wondering if you could drive me to the supermarket that's farther away because they have cheaper groceries today. Of course. Leave it to me. My husband and mother get along like a real mother and son, and they often go shopping together on weekends. My bump is getting bigger, and it's harder for me to go out, so I'm very grateful that they take the initiative to go shopping. The days went by, and I gave birth to a healthy baby boy. Everyone in my family was happy for the birth of my son. Since he is a boy, he will eventually be able to take over my father's company. We are going to have a lively and happy family life from now on. But then, I encountered a terrible situation. One day, when I was going to go shopping with my son, I wanted to buy some baby items, but the store I wanted was far from our house, so I decided to drive to the store. To avoid my husband mistakenly buying something else, I just decided to go for myself. So I asked my husband to take care of my father while I was out. I got in the car, but after about 10 minutes of driving, I realized I had forgotten to bring my wallet. I hurriedly turned back and went home. I was about to go upstairs to pick up my wallet when I heard a strange noise coming from my mother's room. Currently, in my parents' house, my father's room is on the first floor, and all of us are on the second floor. However, my husband and mother were not in the living room on the first floor. I had a very bad feeling about this. I quietly approached my mother's room, and then I heard a creaking sound and saw some heavy breathing. This is totally what I think it is. I set my phone to video mode and swiftly opened the door. What are you doing? Oh. Oh! My startled mother and husband were both naked, so they were doing... it. The two of them hardly put on their clothes. What is this? It's adultery, isn't it? When I questioned them, my husband and mother gave up on making excuses. Yes, it is. But it came naturally. Theo says he likes me better than you, so... I'm sorry, Taylor. Your mother is 
more attractive to me. What? Apparently, my husband likes older women or mature women. So when we started dating, he didn't have a problem with the age difference. The farther apart, the better it was. Do you think you can get away with this? Well, it can't be helped. It doesn't matter to us whether we could get away with it or not. You're right. Well, we'll just get out of here and go live together. So, you and I are getting a divorce? Yeah, of course. Then I'll get the divorce papers ready. I've been pretty composed given the situation. It was probably because for the sake of my father, who will surely need somebody's care, and for my newborn son. I had to be strong. So, Mom, you're divorcing Dad, right? I'll bring your divorce papers, too. When I said this, my mother made a surprising statement. I'm not getting a divorce. What? I'm not divorcing your father, but I'll be moving out of this house. Wait, wait a minute. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not kidding. I'm not separating with him until I get all the equity of this house. So, basically, until he's dead. What are you saying? I'm not leaving him until I get his inheritance. My mother was refusing to divorce my father in order to get his inheritance. It's true that even if you go through all the procedures, if you're still married, you'll have to pay some of the remainder of the estate. How rotten can you be? I said, clenching my fists and glaring at my mother. I'm just choosing the best way for me. I'll take every penny I can get, old man or not. And then I'll continue living my life with a nice young boy. I was beyond angry and disgusted just out of words. Theo, I'll leave you no matter what. Yeah, whatever. But I'll turn down the divorce on one condition. What? What conditions? That you and your father accept that your mother, Katie, refuses to divorce your father. What? Because I'm sure you're going to try to pull some strings. So you and me can get a divorce under the condition that Katie and your father's marriage remain intact. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not going to accept that. Then I'm not getting a divorce either, and I won't pay child support. No way. So which do you choose? My husband and my mother put on proud smiles on their faces like winners. Uh, anyway, I have to tell Dad about this. How can I make a decision without Dad's consent? I said and ran downstairs. My father was awake, apparently, and I think he heard our conversation. Taylor, don't worry about me. Get a divorce right now. No, but then you won't be able to get a divorce. You don't have to worry about me. I want you to leave that man right now. My father looked me straight in the eyes. Perhaps he had a plan to win. So I decided to do as he said. I agreed to divorce my husband on his terms. My husband and mother let out a loud laugh and called out, Tell us when he dies! And left the house together. I was about to go out of control with rage, but the person who had it the hardest was my father. I'm sorry, Dad. Theo is terrible. Don't worry about it. I'm sure they'll find themselves in hell in the near future. I didn't know what he was thinking, but after his explanation, I understood immediately. Surely, this would give them hell. From then on, I decided to live my life without worrying about them. I hired a caregiver during the day and started working as an office worker again. My son was growing up healthy, and I was able to take good care of my father. My father seemed happy to be able to play with his grandchild. I hope that when my son grows up, he will be just like my father. Three years passed in the blink of an eye while I was living like that. My father became ill and was hospitalized, and then he passed away without recovering from the illness. I was prepared for this, so I was calmer than I thought I would be, and I immediately started making funeral arrangements. My father was well-liked by the people around him, so many people showed up at his funeral. But then I was reunited with the people I least wanted to meet. Long time no see. I... How have you been? We're here as promised. It was my mother and my ex-husband. What are you doing here? I came to fulfill my promise. My mother and my ex-husband came to my beloved father's funeral. How could you show up here after what you did? 
Well, men and women are attracted to each other by instinct. It's just the way it is. Reason has no place in defining attraction. I tried to be sarcastic, but they didn't seem to be offended at all. Then, why are you at Dad's funeral? Why don't you just spend your time alone with Theo? Of course, it's my husband's funeral. It's only natural for me to attend, isn't it? And like I said before, I need to fulfill my promise. I came to get my inheritance. Now, tell me the amount I'm going to get. I couldn't stop laughing at my mother's words. I'm sorry, but you won't be getting any inheritance, you know. Huh? What are you talking about? Katie should get her share of the inheritance. I'm sorry, but Mom and Dad are already divorced. What? I never agreed to a divorce. Did you forget that you used to serve Dad with divorce papers? He was saving them in case something happened. That's why he filed for divorce after you left. You are now a stranger to him. That means you are not eligible to inherit anything. When I said that, my mother and ex-husband turned blue. Oh, no. No way. If you understand, will you get the hell out of here? You understand the situation you're in, don't you? We were surrounded by many people who adored my father, so they were all completely hostile to the two people who had betrayed and hurt my father. When my mother and ex-husband realized what was going on, they left the place in a hurry. According to what I've heard, they were living a luxurious life that did not match my ex-husband's income. My mother's savings eventually ran out. So they even started borrowing money, and when they were at the end of their rope, they found out about my father's death. They tried to use the inheritance to pay off their debt, but got nothing. Now there's no one who knows where they are. Well, it doesn't really matter to me anymore. On the other hand, I started working for my father's company a few years ago. Before he passed away, I took over as president of the company. Now as president, I'm protecting his company while raising his grandchild. I'm hoping that one day my son will take over this company after me. Though, if he finds something else he wants to do, I'll do my best to support his dream. Right now, I want to watch my son grow up next to me. Having an affair with your wife's mother is a total scumbag move. Even if he prefers older women, it's unforgivable. And her mother is a scumbag too. Well, I guess like attracts like after all. It was a great relief that in the end, the two of them were punished by getting into debt. I hope Taylor will continue to work hard as the president of the company and live a happy life with her son. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel if you like the story. See you in the next video.